Hey y'all, say y'all, peace and Palisanto 6. It's your girl, the Hippie Healer. And welcome to my page. <laughs> um, so we're going to get right into the energy. I ain't going to hold y'all up too much. Um, so I'm still on the thing where I'm letting my tarot deck choose which zodiac signs that I'm going to do a reading for. So I actually got two cards. The first one I got is the Page of Swords. And then the next one I got is the Temperance card. So um, this is Gemini energy and Sagittarius energy. But I want to just kind of stick with Gemini since it was the first card that came out. So... Page of Swords always gives me like a mixture of energies, which is like kind of mixtures of energies. That's a Gemini, right? Mixture of energy. Um, kind of like you want to embark on something new. You're curious about making some changes. Um, exploring like different options because the temperance card comes right after that. Um, it could be some some of you trying to make some changes in regards to like your peace. Um you know, peace, balance, things of that nature. Also, some of you can be in a really guarded energy right now. Rather, it's like guarded with your heart or you're just really guarded with your energy in general because it's like some of you feel like you need to embark on something, like you need to not be distracted. Okay, let me dig a little deeper though so I can see what's going on. Divine Spirit Gods, Angels, Ancestors, Cosmic Family, of the brightest love, light, healing, prosperity, and protection. Please me clear and accurate messages from my Geminis. Clear and accurate messages from my Geminis. What is it that they need to hear and know the most at this time? What is it that they need to hear and know the most at this time? Please just block out all, all interferences as I get these messages across and protect my space. Any dark magic, evil I've been sent my way or to the way of my Geminis, I ask that you return it back to sender. Thank you so much, Spirit. Ashe, Ashe, and Ashe. All right, let's see what's going on. Clear and concise messages for my Geminis. Clear and concise messages for my Geminis. What is it that they need to hear and know the most at this time? It says, connect to intuition. Repeating patterns are keeping you from making a new choice in the situation. Break free from old ways of thinking and ask for new insight. Yeah, I was getting that feeling. Some of you, it's like, you know, some of you, it's like your spirit is telling you, like, it's time to do something different. Something is unsettled in your spirit, Gemini. It's time to switch things up, do things a little bit different. And, you know, us as Geminis, that's something we're really good at, honestly. Stepping out of our comfort zone um, and, like, embarking on something new. And it's like, as much as you try to run from it, that feeling is just going to grow. Tell me more, Spirit, for my Geminis. Tell me more for my Geminis. Walk away. You're wasting your precious energy on something that will not bear fruit. It's time to turn your attention to things more aligned to your soul's purpose. So a lot of you, this is giving me the energy, like, you're getting this feeling that you need to Kind of disconnect from your ego and really tap into your higher self. Connect more with your soul, your heart space. And as a Gemini myself, I really can relate with this energy. You know, sometimes we get stuck in a rut where we're like doing things the same way over and over and over again. And it's like, you know... It, it becomes like a it becomes like a habit, but deep down inside, you know it doesn't make you happy. Then it says choice, a lot of choice. It says you're being asked to make a choice that you've been struggling with. It's time to decide which path you're going to take. Listen to your intuition, eliminate everyone else's input, and feel your way into the choice that is right for you. The time is now. That's why the Page of Swords energy came out. And I had this, the, the Page of Swords and this Temperance energy came out because a lot of you can be really guarded right now. You want to like, you don't want, it's like, you know, you need to make a change and you don't want any outside influences to whatever change it is that you feel you need to make. For some of you, you don't know what the change is. You just know whatever it is that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, it's not cutting it anymore. Like, it's not feeding your soul. I mean, and that's ultimately what we're here for. To align with our soul and our spirit. 
got three more. Okay, we have oh two cards here. Oh, uh, it says break free. You're being asked to break free from the tribe in order to live your authentic life. I'm surprised that the uh hermit card didn't come out. You're being asked to break free from the tribe in order to live your authentic life. This isn't easy, but it's very necessary. If you're going to share your true self with others, be brave, be real, be you, and trust that those who love you will always be there for you. Gemini, um, the energy is very much so that like we need to disconnect. <laughs> it's like this saying I came across where it's like disappear for like six months. And just work on yourself. You know how much you could do if you take just six months pouring into yourself? And like for some of you, another thing that it says for the page of swords, right? It says one who is calculating and unconcerned about the feelings of others. Communicators, scientists, mathematicians, aviators, travelers. It's like for a lot of you, you don't want to be sucked into the responsibility of having to pour into other people their needs their wants like you could be a person who's like very empathetic so the moment you get to communicate with people it's like okay i'm gonna put my stuff on the back burner i have to be there for this person or this situation you know and you need to break free from that you need to break free from the tribe so you can really dive into yourself it also says to pay attention you're being asked to pay extra close attention to the signs you're being given both the subtle ones and the ones that can't be missed these signs will help you see the best move forward in order to live your best life gemini you know what it is there's a pattern and you're not happy with it you're not happy with it and for some of you, it's like you don't even know like what your path is. You may not know where it is that what it is that you need to change like or but you're not going to get any closer to, to filling that void or figuring out what that is until you like disconnect. Social media, friend groups, outing, like, you know, outing situations. Maybe it's really just it's giving me some time. Give me the energy very much. So it's time for you to sit with yourself. It says wisdom. You've been here before, and you know what to do, yet you fear disappointing others. The wise choice may not be the popular choice, mm. but choose for the highest good in this situation. Definitely the energy of like just breaking free from the tribe. A lot of you know, that's why I said like, I don't have a lot of depth to go into with this reading and normally i do but i don't have it for this one and it's because at a soul level you all know what it is there's nothing i've said in this reading that gemini you're not you're not kind of relating to at least the gemini's that are supposed to align with this reading you know what it is there's a pattern that there's a there's a pattern there there's there's something there there's something you're giving too much of your time and your energy to and it's not going to bear any fruit you can't benefit from it gemini we are creators like we're very very creative people so and this is something this is literally a conversation i was having with myself the other day i, I scrolled across something and it hit me deep where it was like you know, so many of us are consumers. We consume ourselves in social media. We consume ourselves in drama and bullshit and just stuff that has nothing to do, 9-11 on a, a timer, um, that has nothing to do with anything beneficial to us. But versus consuming, we need to start creating. That's where the money is. That's, 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 where, that, that's where your happiness lies. That's where true abundance lies, creating. So get out of the consuming energy and more into the your creative energy. And the best way for you to do that is to disconnect from the tribe. For a lot of you, I can't give you, I can't go in depth about advice here because this is very much so you need to sit with yourself and allow your internal, your internal GPS to tell you what it is that's next. See, when you disconnect from the world, you can hear your body, what it's signaling, what it's telling you to do. I hope this helps. I love y'all.